In the last lecture, we learned how we can add new elements to an array field of a document. In this lecture, we will learn how we can remove elements from an array field. So let's go to Mongo shell. Let's query the employees collection. So for that, let's say db.employees.find. So we want to find all the employees from the employees collection. And there we have one employee called John Smith. And for that employee, we have skills array. And in that skills array, we have this skill full stack multiple times. So what I want is we want to remove all these skills where the skill name is full stack from this employee skills array. So first of all, let's use update many or maybe update one because we want to update only one document here. So I'll say update one. Let's pass the filter criteria. So for the filter criteria, I'm going to use the name of the employee, assuming that the name of the employee is going to be unique. If the name of the employee is not unique, if we have any other employee with the same name, in that case, this update one is going to return us the first matching element. Okay, now what do we want to do here? Here, we want to remove all the elements from the skills array where the name of the skill is full stack. And when we want to remove an element from an array field, we can use dollar pull operator. So when we use push operator, using push operator, we can add a new element to an array field and using pull operator, we can remove elements from an array field. Now, which elements do we want to remove? We want to remove all those elements from the skills array where the name of this skill is full stack. Okay. So we want to remove element for that. We are using pull operator. We want to remove elements from the skills array. And from the skills array, we only want to remove those elements where the name of the skill is full stack. Let's copy this command. Let's clear the Mongo shell. Let's paste the command and let's run it. So you see matched count is one, modified count is one. Let's go and let's query the employees collection one more time. And now you will see from that user, from that employee, John Smith, all the skill where the skill name was full stack that has been removed. So this is how you can remove elements from an array field using pull operator. And this pull operator, it allows you to remove multiple elements from an array field based on a given condition. Here the condition was the name of the skill should be full stack. Now, just like pull operator, we also have another operator which we can use for removing elements from an array field and the operator name is pop. Now, when you use this operator, there you specify from which field you want to remove the elements. In this case, we want to remove the elements from the skills field. And this pop operator allows you to remove one element at a time. You can either remove element from the top or from the bottom. So let's say you have skills array. In that skills array, you have currently three elements. Let's say from that skills array, you want to remove the last element. For that, you can use this pop method. And there you can set it to one. One means we want to remove the last element from the skills array using this pop operator. If I set it to minus one, in that case, it is going to remove the first element from the skills array. Okay, so this pop operator can remove only one element at a time and it will only remove either from the end or from the front. So if you set minus one here, then the first element will be removed from the skills array. If you set it to one here, in that case, the last element in the skills array will be removed. Let me actually show you that. So if I copy this, so here the last element is currently the tester. So this should be removed. Let's go ahead and let's run this command. So one modified count. Let's go ahead and let's query the employees collection. John Smith and for that you will see that the skill tester has been removed. So now it is only left with two skills. So this pop operator has removed the last element because we set the value as one here. That means it will remove the last element. If we set it to minus one, it will remove the first element from the given array. So we can also use pop operator to remove an element from the array. So this is all from this lecture and from this section.
In this section, we learned a lot of things about updating a document in a collection. We learned about different update operators which we can use while updating a field of a document. And we also learned about some settings. For example, upsert. Now, for the update operation, we did not talk about right concern. We learned about right concern for insert operation, but the same concept also applies for update operation. So just like how we can use right concern in insert operations, in the same way, we can also use right concern in update operations. So that same concept you can apply here for update operations also. All right, so this is all from this section and from this lecture. If you have any questions related to update operation, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.